Aloha and welcome to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We're a show that broadcasts live every Thursday at 2 o'clock from 2 to 2.30. Uh, we have guests that talk a little bit about their successes in Hawaii and how they made it work, uh, both as a business and individual. You know, there are challenges, we all know that, but there are people who have overcome those challenges and made it work for themselves. Uh, and we also have organizations that help support those efforts. And today we have one of the, the better organizations in the state of Hawaii. Uh, it's the Maui Chamber of Commerce. We have the CEO uh, and president, and she's been there for quite a while. Pam, welcome to the show. Aloha, Reg. Great to be with you it's today. So glad you can make it from, from Maui. Yes, my pleasure. And you brought a guest with you. I uh, did. Sherry Reeve. I guess she's got one of the more popular, successful galleries over on Maui. She absolutely does and has been a great chamber member. Right. Sherry, welcome Thank to you. the show. I, you've been doing that for quite a while on Maui, have you not? 26 years. 26 years. Mm -hmm. So obviously you've been doing something right because you survived. <laughs> That's great. Um, but Pam, you've, um, you've been running the chamber now for a while over there. It is uh, going on 11 years in April. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you right. so much. Um, and tell us a little bit about Maui. You know, we, we have an idea of what chambers are, but uh, <laughs> what, what does the Maui Chamber do? How do they support their members? Uh, we support our members in, in a number of different ways. Uh, you know, one of the key things that we do is legislative advocacy. Mm -hmm. And we do legislative advocacy on both the Maui County level, as we've always done, as well as the state level at the state legislature. And I've seen you over there before. <laughs> <laughs> you have. And, and we've, we've done the walk around the Capitol yeah. together. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. So we do that. Uh, of course, at the Chamber, we hold monthly business after hours and networking opportunities, helping... Right. Uh, people connect and find new resources. And, and those are usually very well attended because I've been a few of those too. You have. I know, and we, we miss you. We miss you. You're <laughs> going to come back. I know. So we do those. Um, our upcoming one is uh, November 22nd at Feed My Sheep. So I'll do a quick shout out to Feed My Sheep on Maui who feeds the hungry across the island. Okay. So Feed My Sheep. The, the, the sheep are the hungry people. The, the sheep are those who are in need of food and services. And we don't call them clients. We call them friends. And so every year on November, our business after hours is geared towards uh, Feed My Sheep, which we take in. Instead of charging people to attend the business after hours, we ask them for food donations. Oh, wow. It's a great party, and it's a great way to serve, especially around the holiday time. That's, that's great. And, and from the, the ones that I've been to before, you usually have, what, 100 people show up? We do. Yeah. It's, we get large crowds, and uh, we have a blast. It's also it's about networking. We play games, and we have fun as well, mm -hmm. and there's prizes. So, um, and, and we find that uh, often those who donate the prizes also seem to win other prizes. So, ah, imagine how that works. You know, service works. When you <laughs> give, you receive. So it, it's kind of a funny trend, but it's, it actually turns out to be true each month. Um, so we do business networking. We also have training and education programs that we do mm -hmm. for our members. What people also don't realize with the Chamber of Commerce is we're their leverage team. When they have an issue that they're dealing with, they can call the Chamber of Commerce and we help them solve problems or connect them to the resources they need to get those challenges solved. You're like a clearinghouse. We are. And uh, we do that for all of our members. We also do marketing and promotion. We have great advertising avenues and promotional opportunities for our members. So lots of ways to connect with the community and abroad. And uh, in Maui, uh, you know, and in, in actually in Hawaii, we have a visitors bureau. Our visitor mm -hmm. industry is just so strong that we have visitors bureaus on each of the neighbor islands. Mm -hmm. But what many don't understand is that on the mainland and internationally, often your local chamber of commerce is your visitors bureau. Oh, yeah. So we too get tons of visitor industry contacts and those members who promote on their website and, and take advantage of our advertising opportunities get a great bang for their buck. Well, you know, and the, the, the promotional advantages of being a member of the chamber are significant because you have opportunities to maybe sponsor one of these business after hours. Uh, or one of the events or one of the training. I mean, there are ways of getting the name out and, and getting you know, some recognition for this. Absolutely. And people who understand what chambers do, also studies have been done to show that when you've got that chamber emblem on your business and you promote that to the public or your website or wherever you're doing business, that shows that you stand for the local community, you stand for ethics and integrity because that's what chambers are all about, and it gives you an automatic advantage. Right. It's instant uh, credibility. It you is. Know, uh, and it's a great brand 
brand to have as, as part of what you're trying to accomplish. And I guess Sherry's a member, and you've been a member of the, the Maui Chamber for a while, right? About three years. Three years. Yeah. And so have you, uh, yeah, three years. have you been able to experience some of these benefits? I call her all the time. <laughs> 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 yeah, she's such a wealth of information, and, you know, I'm just so grateful to the Chamber and to Pam. Who is the chamber? <laughs> but um, yeah, we get um, a tremendous amount of local traffic through the chamber. Where I'm 99% tourism, mm -hmm. it's really good for me to try and figure out ways to get the local business to me as well. Sure. And the uh, tell us a little bit about your business. So you're 99% visitor industry, but but what is, what is your business? Tell us a little bit about so it. So about 20 years ago, I opened a gallery in the town of Makawao on the island of Maui. And I'm an art gallery, but I also do products. I do a lot of greeting cards, m mugs, t-shirts, all kinds of products with my art. So there's something for $5 in my store up to $10,000 in my uh -oh. store, so a wide range. And I use local businesses, Pacifica Island Art is a company I use to do my products with. And I use a company out of uh, Minnesota. You, my t-shirts are all U.S. made, uh, called Lake Shirts. Um, and so we sell mostly to tourism, but it's a local community, so I get a wide range of people. Sure, and I guess the, the, being a member of the chamber and getting some exposure from them establishes a little bit of that local connection. That yeah, I beg them in. to let me have after hours. <laughs> they have to stagger me, but I try to get right before Mother's Day to have my after hours event because I get so much business from them and then for the weeks to follow. Very good, and I would imagine you also have a website so people can kind of check in and see well, what you yes have? Yes, I do. It's um, <laughs> sreve.com. sreve.com. S-R-E-E-V-E.com. And we have our entire store online. Really? So yep. I, whatever you have in the store, you can buy you through can the buy website. Online, yeah. Absolutely. Very good. And if I was over in uh, Toronto or, or Florida or something, I can you'd ship to me? Yep. Within 24 hours of your order, you should get um, your order in the mail. Very good. Yeah. That's uh, that's great marketing, yeah. um, but you also have a lot. You said ninety nine percent are visitor industry, so this comes from Asia, it comes from mainland, it comes from all over, or uh, yeah, all over. Mostly California, Canada, Florida, all U.S. But um, we've been doing it for so long. The store twenty years, but six years prior to that, I would do kiosks and malls. I would do any sort of a craft fair that they were having because I didn't have a location. So I built up my clientele from 26 years ago, and um, right around then, that's when the internet was coming to be, and so I was able to open a store. That's when Jaclay Printing came to be. That's, it just sort of grew. I've never taken out loans. I've always just built my business as I could afford to grow. Wow. I know. It's You're probably. one of those unique ones. <laughs> and, and, and so access to capital has never been an issue. Never. But are you from Maui? Were you born there? Or? Was, um, raised on Oahu from the age of three and then moved to Boston for three years, and I did the New York Art Expo, which mm -hmm. is what gave me the exposure oh. to do, get products done. You have to, as an artist, you need to get out there and have other people that can spend money on you when you have none. Um, for yeah, I, like, I have to learn how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, it, it makes you very attractive to galleries down the road because if they can see that other people have invested money into you, like Island Heritage took me on back in the late 80s, early 90s, and. Um, they did a whole line of greeting cards for me. Mm. So that put my greeting cards in every 24-hour photo booth in Hawaii. Wow. So when I came back to try and get into galleries, they say, hey, aren't you that artist that had those cards in that photo place? I'm like, yeah. And they took me in. So it helps to have local publishing companies take you on to help with that exposure. Even though you may not make a ton of money doing that, it all works for you. Yeah, having that recognition, you know, and, and that brand, if you will, that's mm -hmm. out there, does open some doors for oh, you. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I think that's where the Chamber can also play a part in this, is, is through their network that they have on Maui, and, and throughout the state for that matter. Um, yeah. You know, you, you can provide some good introductions and networking opportunities. We certainly do, and, and we love it when Sherry hosts her, her uh, annual May. We, we say annual because <laughs> she's, she'd like to do it twice a year, but we leave room, or three times, she's doing three times in the back room. Um, but uh, she, she also does such an amazing thing, which we certainly promote, and, and we have a program where members can offer discounts to other members. Uh -huh. And if they do a special member-to-member -member discount promotion, where they do something more than they give the 
general public, then we will promote them for free. And Sherry, every year, gives us a great discount during that business after hours, just in time for Mother's Day. Wow. So we okay. do that. And she recently participated in our Made in Maui County Festival and was one of the phenomenal vendors there. Now, let me just follow up on that Mother's Day discount. <laughs> Is this available online as well? Can people come online and get advantage of that? But they have if to be a chamber, chamber members. They have to be right? a chamber member, yeah. And, you know, all of my prices are comma. I, you know, I just really try to keep my prices down low. But if you are a chamber member and you walk in there, you get a discount. So. All right, now that begs the question, how do you become a member of the chamber? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you our website. It's uh, www.mauichamber.com. Or you can simply call 808 two four four zero zero eight one and we as a neighbor island chamber really promote that if you're doing business on Maui um, then real or if you're thinking of doing business on Maui getting connected with the the local chamber is really important and we encourage people to be a member of the chamber in every island that they do business on mm. Well, it, it, that just makes sense. I mean, if you're going to be looking to do business there and getting to know the community, I mean, right. what better way to do that? Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So they go on, and how does the... Uh, don't mind me asking a question. Not at but all. How much does it cost to join a Maui Chamber? Our base rate is three twenty nine a year, okay. and that's for five or fewer employees. And then for each additional full-time equivalent, so two part-time would be one full-time equivalent, it's an additional $10 after that. Oh, that's it's called our fair, fair share yeah. investment. Um, and what we really want to get out is that when you're a member of our chamber and under this fair share investment, it's not just the owners or the top managers that are members. All of the employees can come to our programs at the chamber membership mm -hmm. rate. Mm -hmm. So the employees can come to business after hours and network, your sales, your marketing team, your HR team. Everybody exactly. can come out Or get and a benefit participate. of discount at the, and uh, get the Mother's and, Day. And get the Mother's Day <laughs> discount as well as the other member-to-member -member discounts. Right. Yes. And that could be quite valuable. Very valuable. Oh, my goodness. I mean, advertising is so expensive and a wonderful thing to do, but this is a great venue. Very good. Advertising. And I guess uh, some of the member-to-member -member benefits, um, and I'm being a little selfish here, but does it include some of the nice resorts on Maui? <laughs> <laughs> um, not yet. We're working on that we because, of to course, to they also have Kamaaina just, they all have great comma Ina specials so not yet but we do have many companies that offer the member to member discount and then in addition to that we have a lot of national affiliate programs that we're associated with and there's many other discounts that members can access on the website in our specific member zone so th and maybe we can come back to this in a minute we got a little break coming up but one thought would be to go through that member to member discount and i'm sure you could probably come up with enough discount to more than pay for absolutely. that membership absolutely so, uh, but we need <laughs> Need to take a quick break here and we'll be right back uh, this is business in hawaii with reg baker we're talking with the maui chamber of commerce and one of their their top members uh the sherry reeves gallery so uh, we'll be back in about one minute thank you aloha how you doing welcome to ibachi talk gordo the techs are here we're here every Friday from 1 o'clock till about 1.45, and we talk tech with many, many great guests. I got uh, Andrew, the security guy, who helps me co-host, and I got Poppy Chulo, who comes in once in a while to, to help us through the show. So please come join Hibachi Talk every Friday. Angus will be here, too. So remember, like we say at the end of every show, how you doing? Aloha and welcome to the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm the weekly host at 11 a.m. Honolulu time. Very excited for the next six weeks. We have the Aspire series, which is all about the coolest careers I could find and interviewing and getting insights from these amazing people who want to share it with you and help you live your dreams. Look forward to seeing you on the show. Aloha. Aloha, and welcome back to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We're here today chatting with the uh, Chamber of Commerce of Maui and one of their top members, uh, the Sherry Reeves Gallery. Uh, and we were just getting into uh, some of the more uh, finer details of the member-to-member -member program and, and how that can really, if you take advantage of these discounts that are available, more than pay for your membership. So 
Uh, Pam, can you just give us a, a little bit more flavor of some of the different types of member-to-member -member discounts that might be available? Oh, we have, um, I mean, they kind of run the gamut. We've got um, anywhere from companies who build out office furniture and, and customize office spaces. Oh, so this could be big ticket items. Uh, those can be big ticket items um, to, to, again, special, you know, discounts on um, bento lunches and things like that. I mean, it really runs the gamut because at the chamber we represent every of industry course. across the island. But when you pair those local shopping discounts and, and again, or business expense discounts, and then you pair them with things like the Office, mass, office Max discount, mm -hmm. which again can be used for your major supplies or office furniture, mm -hmm. uh, the Dell computer, the Constant Contact, a lot of the new uh, web services and things that people use, uh, it adds up very quickly. So you can, as you said, you can you can easily offset the cost of your chamber membership with the discounts alone. Well, and some of these are, are products and services that you would use all the time. I Absolutely. mean, for example, um, IT support, do you have chamber members? We do have chamber members who offer IT support, website design yeah. and development. See? Yeah, so we, we have a lot of things that everybody can use every day. That's very good. Yeah. yeah that, that's it's exciting because if, if you're joining and, and you're paying three or four hundred dollars, you should be getting at least two or three times that value Absolutely. In, in return. Absolutely. And, and in addition to the discounts, you know, what we know about chamber members is there are some people who just renew their membership year after year as a good thing to do. And, and sometimes they forget to go look at the... We email them every week. We have an e-blast each week to keep them updated on legislative and community mm -hmm. activities and chamber activities. Um, but some people renew every year and just want to be a part of the chamber and recognize it as a good thing to do. But then there's those who are actively involved. Mm -hmm. And the more involved, and you know this with, yep. with uh, your chamber participation, the more involved and engaged you are in the chamber, the greater your return of on course. the investment. Yep. Yeah, you know, getting involved, and you've got different committees, and you've got we different do. events that are going on, and, and there's a, a variety of ways for a member to get involved and get even more value out of the chamber. Absolutely, because through all these different opportunities, you have so many different avenues to connect, either to connect with uh, government and government leaders, to connect with top business leaders, to connect with social services and community action and economic development projects. So there's many different realms in which people People can get involved and when they do they build a network that is exceptional and, and everybody benefits. Now, Sherry not to put you on the spot but have you gotten involved in some of these different committees and different events that are going on? I've gotten involved to the extent that if you are a chamber member and you come into my store uh, you get 10% off and even if you don't buy something I give them a, um, a free luggage tag which is exclusive to my gallery, so you can't get them anywhere else. They have to tell me they're a chamber member. Well, she f she's also forgetting to mention that um, whenever we've needed auction items or things, Sherry is always there helping with making donations and contributing to other events See, that help with the fundraising. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's all great. Opportunity. Yeah. yeah. You know, and you know, to your point, Pam, I've been involved in different chambers yes. over the years, and I've chaired different committees and done different things, and. You know, the network that you can really build and the connections that you can make in that process are very, very valuable. They are. I, in my early 20s, I was the government that action That wasn't that long ago. It, well, bless you. I'm <laughs> taking you with me everywhere just to say that. Um, uh, yeah, in my, in my early 20s, I was the government action committee chair for the Maui Chamber of Commerce. I never dreamed, of course, back then that I would ever work for the chamber. I was always a supporter. I also sat on the marketing committee. Um, so I served in many different capacities with the Maui Chamber of Commerce uh, long before I ever knew I was going to get a call to, right. to talk to them. It must have been a, a positive experience for you now because now you're running the chamber. Oh, it's always been a positive experience right. um, because it, it is what my passion is, supporting businesses. And, and the majority of our businesses are small businesses, um, but we support, of course, all businesses. Uh, but I support those who are good people who care about our community and the environment and work hard to support others and take good care of their employees and they always our members always are passionate and they inspire me and I love helping them well, it's it's great to be involved in an organization like that it is. so rewarding um, we are approaching a holiday season yes. believe it or not <laughs> fast it's fast only approaching. a couple more weeks and it's Thanksgiving yeah. you know? um, but you know any any end of the year events going on or promotions or anything that's going on you want to announce in Makawao, we have a third Friday event. 
where they close the street down and local artisans and vendors come and um, participate in a, an evening art show. And that's wow. really fun. And live music and... Like a block it, party? It's a block party. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. And you participate in I this? do. I keep my <laughs> store open. And all the stores stay open. Most of them stay open. And, and it's just a nice way to bring the locals in because usually Makawa, at least, the town of Makawa closes down at 5.30, 6 o'clock. This stays open until 8.30, so people that get off work can come and go eat food on the streets. And so there's food vendors, food vendors there's live, live music, music, there's yeah. um, merchants, there's all kinds of fun things to do. People things are for the dancing kids. around in the streets a little That's bit. That's exactly <laughs> right. Yes, it's just, you know, it's a lot of fun. And I, I'm sure they're going to have Santa Claus and carolers and all sorts of things in December. But um, the third Friday for this coming one is November, the end of November. So it'll be fun. Very good. Yeah. And Pam, what, do you, what does the chamber got in there? Well, works? we're actually, this uh, Saturday is our construction industry of Maui. That's the day holiday after party. tomorrow. That would mm. be the day after tomorrow. <laughs> We've got, they're having their holiday party. Um, the Construction Industry of Maui is a new trade council that we've brought in under the chamber to help them continue to have a voice in the community. And so they've been doing a great job building uh, as a trade council under the chamber umbrella so they didn't have to have their own staff and their own team but That's had an great. industry representation on it. So they're having their big holiday party. The chamber is working on our holiday party. We're finalizing <laughs> the details because we're trying to do something different and special. I hope you so got the be room announced. reserved. We have two rooms oh, okay. that we're working on. <laughs> right now uh, because we're trying to see who will allow us to do the special activity that we're uh -huh. wanting to do um, but we do have the November 22nd Feed My Sheep oh, that's and right. if I can give a shout out to Kailea Moikeha who works for me because uh, while she Cherry said uh, Pam is the chamber actually I couldn't do it without Kailea who's at the yeah. office manning the Ford and Amber uh, Kutos who's on vacation this week but we have a great team at the chamber. We're a small chamber, and of course, we have an amazing board of directors. So I want to give a shout out to all of our board of directors. But well, and that board it takes is great. A team. I mean, I, I I know the staff is really good, but I've had more opportunity to meet some of the, the board members, yes. and, and they're very engaged and they're very involved in the community. It's a they it's are. a great board. Yeah, and as you know, it takes a dynamic board to really make any nonprofit successful. And sometimes people forget as a chamber of commerce, because we're all about business, uh, they sometimes forget that we operate as nonprofits in this community. Well, and, you know, also, it's a lot of small business, too. I mean, there, there are big business members, but I have found from my personal experience that it's a lot of times it's the smaller chamber members that really get in there and do the heavy lifting and it, make it all it work. It very often is, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's, hmm. that's a great group of people to know. All right, so you've got those end-of-the-year events coming up. Believe it or not, it's going to be 2017 pretty <laughs> soon. Um, you know, uh, Sherry, any holiday sales or any holiday activities that you've got going on? We have a new product where we have these beautiful um, Christmas ornaments with my art on them, and I only do a 1,000 of each. And so those will be blown out by the end of the year. Wow. And so you can come in. When you buy four or more, you get discounts and all sorts of things that way. But we, we try to do something new and exclusive every year. So the ornaments are kind of fun for That's holiday giving. If you buy like 10 of them, they go down almost to a third because you're going to be giving them as gifts for your office. Right. I hope right. that'll and yes. so you could, is that something that's also going to be available on the website, or do yep. they actually have to come into the no, store? No, on the website. Everything. All the wow. discounts the are available. The whole store is on the website. Yeah. That's, that's great. Yeah, she doesn't pick and choose. She, yeah, she, no, she gives a discount. She gives a, except there's some things she does just for chamber members as an incentive for the chamber. But but she always we're is very We're 99% tourism, so yeah. all of my, my internet sales are from people that have already been in my store. Mm -hmm. That's how I get my internet going so well. That's great. And yeah. you've... Um, and we're, we're going to be entering into the last three or four minutes of the show. And so I just wanted to, to touch on something. It's all been very fun and, and positive and great. Um, but we all know that there's been some challenges here and there along the ways. And, uh, you know, I think all companies experience that at some point. You know, we've, we've had some economic slowdowns and startups mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, Pam, what do you think is, is probably one of the most common challenges that businesses will experience? The, the biggest challenge, um, and I know you well know this, I mean, the biggest challenge is uh, the cost it takes to do business, and healthcare is a big part of that cost. And uh, particularly on Maui, you know, we saw that we we're trying to, to have uh, Kaiser come in and take care of our Maui Memorial Medical Center. 
So, and that's been delayed, unfortunately, now till next until July. Until summer, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a big issue um, for for our so community in between overall. Now and then, nobody gets sick, right? We hope <laughs> <laughs> that would be wishful thinking. <laughs> so it, it's it's a huge challenge, and our community is working on that, and we're working as a chamber on our other legislative priorities. But just in general, healthcare costs have really soared for companies yeah. of late, and so that's been a big issue that we're working on. And, um, you know, things are getting better, so access to capital has been a problem. It's starting to loosen up a little bit as companies are starting to recover and do much better. I mean, Just in time for the rising interest rates. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some companies like Sherry haven't needed to borrow, but many of our small businesses do need to borrow to close that gap or to expand. And uh, we've just come out of the Maida Maui County Festival where they need to expand because they're getting orders from buyers, wholesalers, and distributors. Well, and to that point, some some of the sales are cyclical yes. and so sometimes people have to go out and buy the inventory right. in order to sell it during the busy time of the year right uh, and sometimes they need that access to capital to make that happen and, and that can actually that's why they call it Black Friday. It's when a lot of companies actually turn the corner and start making some decent profits. That's exactly right, because that's their biggest sales of the of the period. And, and Sherry knows this because she brings in a lot of different inventory. To get the best pricing for her customers, she has to uh, pony up to larger volumes, right, so that she can pass on better pricing to her customers. And she does that. And that's what you know, every business would like to give their customers the best possible pricing they can. So, you know, as inventory management um, and, and timing that in such a way that you can move it and not have a lot of your capital tied up is uh, really all, important. All important. Now, Sherry, you've been very fortunate to not have to deal too much about the access to capital issue, but is, are there any other issues that, that you have had to address? Now, we've got about 45 seconds, uh, so. Um. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, when when I, we could feel the economy was doing some shifting, we shifted with our products and took, you know, when my average product was $70, it's now $20 so that we can sell a whole range of, we didn't lose customers, we gained customers because we could reach across different now, that, That's an interesting process you went through. So you actually took a look at all your products mm -hmm. and you kind of looked at your customer base and you tried to make some tweaks that would bring the customers back in and, and keep getting them to buy. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You, you have to, and you have to do it with the economy. And even though the economy is great for us, we're going to keep all those products going because it's really nice to offer everyone something they can afford. Well, see, now what I'd like you to do Kay. is box this up, and I'm going to sell it to Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you need, there's a commission, commission involved, right? Uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk yeah. about that. <laughs> But anyways, I, I appreciate you both very much for being on the show today. Thank uh, you, Rich. I had a good time. It's great to have the Maui Chamber and, and the gallery uh, over here. Um, let's come back in another few months, and we'll do this again. We'd okay. love to. Thanks okay. for having us Thank on the you. show. Uh, and this is uh, Reg Baker. I'm the host of Business in Hawaii. We broadcast live every Thursday at 2 o'clock from 2 to 2.30, and we highlight successful companies and organizations that support those companies. Until next week, aloha. Aloha.